it's either a feeling of like I'm going to throw up or this is the greatest moment of my life. That's what we live for. My name is John Evan Bilbrey, uh, J-O-H-N-E-V-A-N-B-I-L-B-R-E-Y. My name is Bly Wilson. I'm not giving you my middle name for legal reasons. Mm -hmm. yeah. Social security numbers are a big thing. I think, yeah, yeah, I think it was kind of a mutual thing. Because we met in seventh grade, and I remember we, like, bonded over music. Because I was listening to Green Day, and then he showed me 21 Pilots. Was it the Blurry Face album? Mm -hmm. And then we both just became really good friends because of that. And then I was playing guitar at that point, but I wasn't singing. And then, did it, I think you mentioned that you used to take drum lessons. And then one day we were just like, let's just do something. And then we went in here and we actually covered 21 Pilots. And uh, that was like the first thing I think we did. Yeah. But I, I don't think we became like a band no, until like not eighth until, grade. Not until like end of eighth grade, summer going into ninth grade. Because weren't we, was That's it Bliss? When, yeah. <laughs> bliss band. We were, we were That was like our first name. Yeah. We thought we were real cool. <laughs> and then Unscented. Yeah. What, what a horrible <laughs> name. It really was pretty bad. Like it the name really itself bad. is basically like plain. So we were basically like calling ourselves plain. It was not good, but we're both very similar in the way we write music and our styles of music. And I don't think I've ever met anybody with like the same style that I have in terms of like music. And he did. And so when we came together, I think it was just kind of we both knew like, yeah, definitely want to be doing this over any nine to five. You're like, I just, I feel like this would be a lot better. <laughs> Honestly. I'm not trying to deal with, you know, Nancy next to me, you know, I'm trying to play music with him and play shows and hopefully help people. I think that's the big yeah, goal with all big. of it. We drew a lot from personal experience because when we met, we were both actually kind of going through some personal struggles, you know, just like with family and just, you know, like, I think for both of us, I mean, honestly, mental health was kind of a thing that was iffy for both of us. And I think music was one of those things that after, you know, listening to you know other artists that tackle that problem i think we both just knew that music helped us and i think we knew that if it helped us we could potentially help other people so that was kind of the main thing for it we both i don't want to say we both know our place because that sounds really weird but it's like normally what ends up happening especially when we first started is i would normally sit down and try to come up with like a guitar thing and i would pretty much just sit there for like three hours just playing something playing stuff over and over again you know, just seeing what should I could come up with and just see what works. And then I would take it to him and I would show him. And I think that's how we actually recorded letters because I got it and I recorded it on my phone and I brought it to him and he was like, yo, we could like make that a song. From the start, I've always just kind of said, tell me what you think. If you have an idea, let's play it. And so it's always just been me going in there. I'll give him a snippet, tell him what it sounds like, maybe what the feel is. And then I just let him go to work and just let him do what he thinks works best. And I think that's kind of how we've always both gotten a, a good share of creativity throughout the process of making music specifically. Yeah. Just because there's no point in fighting. <laughs> like there's some people that like try to take over and I've been, yeah. w without him, I definitely wouldn't be making the same music I have. If I try to make it as even as possible all the way through with everybody. Yeah. It's just like I write, I write my drums and he writes the guitar and the lyrics most of the time. And, and, and we do co-write on, on lyrics because, I mean, even mentally, we are very similar, not just in music. Like, we wrote The Time the Dreaded Sundown. We we were recording it the next day, and we didn't have any lyrics for it. We both just sat there, and we wrote the whole song in probably, like, three hours, I think. Yeah, I and think then we, we went to bed at, like, four in the morning. Got yeah. up to record it at nine the next day. Yeah, and then so that was it cool. turned out well. I mean, it was yeah. probably one of our most popular songs for a little bit. And it's definitely one of my favorites. I think lyrically that song. Super fun to play live, too, because that's the one that everybody yeah. jumps to. That's one of my favorites, too. I think, personally, we've both evolved, not just as people, but with our music taste and mentally, that we've kind of matured more from just, you know, your average, like, Oh, we sound like this band, or we sound like this band, and we really were focused on making we sound like the Backward Few. We started writing about a lot more serious topics than just, you know, my girlfriend broke up with me two weeks ago. We still even write. Though, about I mean, that, even though that's one of them. Yeah, yeah, we we still write about that a lot. 
because <laughs> we're all very single. But and sad boys. <laughs> but I think the maturity is a big thing because he he's definitely right. We started off, I think, with, specifically with Takeout. That whole first EP, I feel like each song was wrote to sound like something. I think Benadryl was definitely the first song that we did when we kind of were like, okay, you know, cut it. We're just going to do us and we're just going to do something that is different and is still what we want to sound like. And then with stuff that's not even released, like for instance, the song that we were just practicing, like it's just our vibe is completely different. And I definitely think that our music has just matured into something that just like he said, it's not this or this or this, it's the backward view. And I think that's definitely something that people are gonna enjoy. Cause I feel like if we enjoy the songs on an emotional level, I'm hoping, hoping that other people will enjoy them just the same way, if not more. Yeah, kind of just all goes back to the goal of trying to help people, I guess. I definitely don't think people are ready for the back review because now I, I feel like we've taken a moment and with the maturity thing within our music, I feel like we've, you know, matured just businessly. That's even weird. I don't think it is. But just, I feel like we're more businesslike and I feel like now we're pushing to make this work. We're not just doing this for fun on the side because it helps us. I feel like now people aren't ready for us because we are trying as hard as we possibly can to make this what we are and what we're known for. And um, I, I definitely, people are, just aren't gonna expect what we have coming. And I'm excited for that. We just got a brand new, beautiful uh, studio. <laughs> yeah. I just wish people knew like how therapeutic it was and it is for us. Like the feeling of going in and writing a new song, the anticipation throughout the week of just leading up to practice. So it's it's an adrenaline rush and a therapy session all around the week. Definitely. I, I, I feel like this is definitely, you know, a reason to live and I, I think music for both of us is, you know, something just, oh, a lot more than just music. It's, you know, something that helps us. This is what we want to be doing. I mean, we want to be helping people and we want to have somebody listen to our music and, you know, make them realize, you know, maybe I'm not the only one and really let them know that, you know, there are people out there that feel the same thing, if not something different that maybe you can relate to, that can help you. So I, I, I don't know, I feel, I feel like people see it as a high school band, but I feel like it's definitely more than that. If we're being completely honest, at least for me, I mean, music is, you know, one of my biggest reasons you know keep going and grinding for this because it genuinely I think has affected us both mentally and helped us get through so many different you know struggles you know whether it be financially or within the family or you know with anything really I feel like we both just write about it and we really put it out there um but yeah I don't know <laughs> I just wish would you know people would understand it a little bit better hopefully in the future at some point which might never happen but